Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be building this cute witch's magic potion shop. And as you guys can tell, I decided to use a texture pack and I even downloaded some shaders and all of that stuff will be in the description below. I know not everyone has the texture pack or would rather not use it, so I decided to include the materials for vanilla Minecraft. As always, thank you for watching and let's get on with this tutorial. Okay, go ahead and grab a shovel and copy the layout down below. Grab your andesite block and we're going to go ahead and place that on top of the white lines here. Okay, grab your cobblestone block and we're going to place that on top of the andesite and we're going to go ahead and bring that up by four blocks. Okay, and as you can see, I always like to make sure that I have the right amount of blocks. So as you can see, it was four blocks tall. And then you're going to go ahead and fill in the rest of your walls. Okay, go ahead and grab your chiseled stone bricks and we're gonna bring up those same walls up by one. Okay, go ahead and grab your cobblestone block again and we're gonna go ahead and bring that uh, wall up by another four. So basically like the how we did at the bottom. Okay, and once again, just making sure that I have four blocks. And once again, grab your chiseled uh, stone and we're going to go ahead and bring that up by one once again. Okay, and grab your cobblestone block again, but this time we're going to only bring it up by one. Okay, and that's what it should be look like. It should be andesite, four blocks of cobblestone, chiseled uh, stone, and then four more cobblestone, and then chiseled once again, and then one layer of cobblestone at the very top. With your cobblestone again, go ahead and fill in that gap that we have at the very top, just like so. Um, grab your purper is how you say it um your purper block and we're gonna go ahead and fill up the very top section here i like to make a cross first and then fill in uh, the little gaps i don't know i just do there's no real way to do it. i just do it this way okay grab your purper stairs and we're gonna go ahead and outline this outer edge here with them so go ahead and just trace on um, this section here And go ahead and take your time doing this next step. I know that if you go too fast, you may skip or add too many blocks. So just go ahead and take your time. Okay, grab your purple block and we're going to go ahead and head over to the middle here. And we're going to go ahead and bring up this section by seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks tall. And make sure it's in the middle. Okay, and on the side, we're going to go ahead and bring up three blocks on each side, just like so. And then two blocks tall and one to create like a staircase. And you're going to want to do that on each side. 
So it's going to go three, two, and one. Okay, now grab your purple stairs, and we're going to go ahead and break off that middle block and replace it with the stair. So just the top one in the center, and then uh, replace it with the stair. Okay, go ahead and grab your purple stained glass, and we're going to go ahead and break off the last block that we have here and replace it with the glass. And you're going to go ahead and do that for um, each side. Okay, go ahead and come up here and place a block on top of the last block that we placed up there. Okay, and once again, grab your stair and we're gonna go ahead and place that on top of those glass blocks that we placed at the very top. Grab your purple glass once again and we're gonna go ahead and bring them up by two in this little middle section that we have in between each uh, section that we did. So just these little corners, bring it up by two blocks. Okay, go ahead and grab your uh, polished black stone wall and we're gonna go ahead and place that on either side of the glass and on top. And we're just going to be doing uh, that for these middle sections here. So once again, on either side and on top. Okay, and go ahead and come up to the very top of the tower and we're going to go ahead and place two more at the top. Okay, go ahead and grab your uh, slab your purple slab and we're going to go ahead and outline these little sections here so as you can see place that next to the glass in the middle and on the side again so basically just filling in these little middle sections here i hope that wasn't confusing but just as it shows here just fill in these little sections here just following along these empty spaces Okay, with your slab at hand, we're going to go ahead and extend these outer edges here. So on each side, go ahead and bring it out by one, following along that stair that we placed. And like I said, you're going to go ahead and do it for each side, and then afterwards, gonna, we're going to fill in the, the gaps in the middle. I like to do it this way simply because um, if you just uh, outline it, you could end up with extra blocks or missing blocks, and then your shape will be wonky. So like I said, once you're done with all those uh, sides, go ahead and just fill in those little middle sections. Okay, we're going to go ahead and come down uh, below the tower and on that little one section of cobblestone above the chiseled stone, we're going to go ahead and replace it with our nether warp block. So as you can see, just uh, break the outer edges here and replace it. And it's only going to be at the very top right here above that chiseled uh, stone that we placed. We just place the stone as a placeholder. Okay, so uh, go ahead and grab your purple stairs again. And go ahead and find the middle section of each side and then place an upside down stair at the very top, just like so. And you're going to go ahead and do this for each side. Remember to place it in the middle and only for the sides. And then in these corners, you're going to uh, want the upside down stair to face towards the middle block. To kind of create like this like little mini square in the middle. So once again, uh, find your corner and then make sure your stairs are facing towards that corner. Okay, go ahead and grab your slab and extend these uh, middle upside down stairs that we placed. And it's only going to be on the sides, uh, don't do the corners. So once again, just uh, extend them out. Okay, go ahead and grab your purple stained paints and we're going to go ahead and place them on the outsides of those bottom blocks and then above the stairs in the middle. And go ahead and do that for each side. So once again at the bottom and uh, above the stairs. Okay, we're going to also place them on the sides of the glass in each of these corners. 
And you're going to go ahead and do that for each side, of course. Okay, and we're going to come up all the way to the top and place two panes um, at the very top. So just like so. Okay, and go ahead and find uh, your sides and you're going to place them on either side of those uh, sections. So just like so, place, uh, place two on each side or one on each side for a total of two for each side, sorry. And then fill in that little corner right here. Okay, and your tower should be looking like this. Okay, we're going to come down below the tower and on each section we're going to go ahead and place a pane on either side. And it's only going to be for the sides not the corners. So once again, find uh, your each uh, section or side and place a pane on either side. Okay, with your chiseled stone, uh, you're going to go ahead and extend uh, th this top section only and we're going to only bring it out by one. And we're going to go ahead and do that for each side and then fill in the middle gaps. And like I said before, I only do it this way because uh, you can mess up your shape if you add too many blocks or too little blocks. So once again, do uh, each side, extend it out by one and then fill it in your little corners. And it should look like this. And we're only going to be doing this for the top section, not the middle section. Okay, go ahead and grab your cobblestone stairs. And in the middle uh, section of each side, you're going to go ahead and place an upside down stair. So go ahead and do that for each side. Find your middle and place an upside down stair. Okay, so your tower should be looking like this and the stairs there for, you know, extra detail and to add more support to the tower. Go ahead and grab your light blue stained glass and we're going to go ahead and start breaking out our windows. So go ahead, skip uh, one block above that andesite and break the two above it and then skip it. So it should be uh, cobblestone, window, window, and then cobblestone. And we're going to go ahead and do this for each side except for the right side of the build. So the build that, uh, sorry, the side that's going to be facing um, the cottage. So once again for the top, pretend the chiseled uh, stone is your andesite and we're going to go ahead and skip that first block and then break the two above it. Okay, and next up, just really easy, fill in your uh, gaps with your light blue glass. Okay, and that's basically it for our tower. On to the cottage now. Okay, go ahead and grab your andesite and we're going to go ahead and place that along the red line here. And we're only going to make this one block tall. Okay, go ahead and grab your cobblestone and we're going to go ahead and bring up these walls by four blocks. And you're going to want to leave out your little sections where your doors and windows are going to be. So for your door, it's going to be uh, four blocks on each side and then your door in the middle. And for the windows, you're going to go ahead and make them two blocks tall and leaving a space uh, between the door and the window. Okay, so it should be looking like this. Okay, and for this side, we're going to leave a gap in the middle and just make that like two blocks tall. And that's going to be where our chimney is going to go. So make sure to leave that gap in the middle. Doesn't matter how tall you make it, just make sure you leave that gap so you know where your chimney goes. And back here, we're going to make a two by two window. And you could go ahead and place the window where you like um, since you can't really place it necessarily in the middle. So just kind of go on the inside if you like and then see where you like your window. And once again, make sure it's a 2x2 two two window.
Okay, so those are your walls finished. We're going to go ahead and come over to this side over here and we're going to bring up this wall. Go ahead and leave a space on the edges and then fill that gap in and then bring it up by one once again. All the way to where it kind of creates like a triangle pyramid shape. Okay, go ahead and bring out your spruce stairs and we're going to start on this roof. So for the sprues, we're going to only be doing the outer trim of the roof. So go ahead and place this uh, one above the windows and then at the very edge here. You're going to find the last um, chiseled block here and go ahead and bring that sideways. And then on this side, make sure that you have that one block extension. And go ahead and do that for the back side of the build. So once again, make sure to have that one block extension and then on this last section, uh, find your last chiseled block and then bring it out sideways. Okay, go ahead and grab a spruce slab and then fill in that little section here. And then grab your wood stairs again and we're going to go ahead and put in upside down stairs here um, under the the trim here just to uh, give it more detail and to make it look less incomplete and in this middle section go ahead and place an upside down stair facing towards you okay go ahead and grab your purple stairs and go ahead and fill in the rest of the roof and then of course at the very top fill it in with your slabs Okay, and that is the roof complete for the cottage. We're going to head into the inside of the build. Go ahead and grab your spruce uh, planks or whichever planks of your uh, choosing and go ahead and fill in your floor here. Okay, go ahead and grab all your granite blocks and your brick wall and we're going to go ahead and start on this chimney. So go ahead and grab your polished granite block and that little space that we created, we're going to go ahead and break off that block, that andesite block here and skip one block and then fill in the rest. And then break off these following blocks that we placed. And then go ahead and replace it with the granite blocks. Okay, head on out to the outside of the build and we're going to go ahead and bring that up. So place that one block here and then bring it up by two again. Grab your polished granite stairs and place an upside down stair right on the side of it. Grab your uh, granite block once again and then bring it up by three. And then grab your stair once again and fill in this little gap gives it a more of a unnatural look to the fin uh, to the chimney I'm sorry grab your polished granite block once again and go ahead and bring that up by one here and you're gonna go ahead and bring up those blocks by four and on the sides you're gonna go ahead and bring it up by two and in this middle section just by one with your stairs go ahead and place it along these blocks that were created or the shape that were created just so it looks more natural Okay, let's go to the very top of the chimney. Go ahead and bring out your campfire and your spruce trap doors. Go ahead and place your campfire down and then on the sides of that campfire, go ahead and place your spruce trap doors and finish it off like this. Okay, we'll go ahead and finish the chimney off on the inside later. But for now, go ahead and grab your light blue stained glass and we're gonna go ahead and fill in all of our windows.
Okay, go ahead and grab your trap doors and then along the sides of the windows on the cottage. We're gonna go ahead and place them uh, like if they were shutters. So for the one uh, length ones, we're gonna go ahead and just place one on the outer sides of the windows. And then for the this back one, we're gonna go ahead and place it on, place it on either sides of the window. Okay, go ahead and grab your oak door and we're going to go ahead and place our door. Okay, and for this next part, go ahead and grab your mossy cobblestone and go ahead and start replacing some of the blocks all along the tower and the cottage itself just to add more detail to it and to give it more of a more worn out look. So go ahead and just place place them wherever you like. Uh, don't add too many because then you could just ruin the actual build. So just place it where you think you need a little bit more moss like around you know maybe windows towards the floor and then make sure it has some sort of like flowing shape to the moss. Okay, go ahead and grab your andesite stairs and we're going to go ahead and place that right under the door. So just put them put in the middle, go ahead and put it uh, normally and then on the sides of it, turn to the side to create more of like a different shape to it. Okay, go ahead and grab your spruce uh, fence and we're going to go ahead and place that on each of the corners of this roof. So find the very last block and then place it. Go ahead and grab your brick wall, campfire, iron bars, and granite stair. And we're going to go ahead and head inside to finish off this chimney. So go ahead and with your stairs, go ahead and place them upside down like this. And then with your brick wall, finish it off on, under it. Place your campfire and then in front of it, place some iron bars. Go on over to this uh, wall right here and we're going to go ahead and break off all these blocks all the way up to the chiseled stone. Grab your cobblestone stairs and we're going to go ahead and place that right under that chiseled stone. Go ahead and break off these blocks here, fill it in with your spruce planks and in the tower go ahead and grab your polished granite and then fill it in as well. We're going to go ahead and create our second floor here in the tower. So where you see the chiseled stone, go ahead and place your polished granite to create that second floor. And in this corner here, go ahead and break off that block there. Grab your twisting vines and where we broke off that block, go ahead and place it there. And this is just going to serve as our ladder instead of just using regular old ladders. Okay, so that was our interior basically done. Okay, so I did a little building off camera just towards the outside and the inside. And then here you see you can see that I put down some torches, but it is with the CIT pack so they do look different. But for, of course, vanilla, as you can see, I did use soul lanterns and I went ahead and placed that on top of the tower as well, just to give it more lighting. You could go ahead and grab some spruce leaves and just kind of create like these twisting vines along the actual cottage and then on the tower itself as well, just to add a little more overgrown look to it. I also went ahead and grabbed some vines and placed them all along the sides of the build. And then for the actual grass itself, I just bone mealed the whole area 
and added a bunch of tall grass, tall ferns, kept some of the dandelions, and then go went ahead and placed a bunch of mushrooms. So basically for your outside, just go ahead and just overdo with the plants. I just love an overgrown look to my builds. So go ahead and then just add all in all these details, go ahead and grab some pumpkins. And since we do have the new frog update, I decided to add a little mini pond. I spawned a bunch of frogs and I just did all that. Okay, going ahead onto the inside, I did use CIT packs here. So if you do get decide to use it, you could go ahead and just add in whatever you like. But for vanilla, just go ahead and add a bunch of bookshelves, enchanting tables. Uh, to create um, this like purple thing here, since I didn't find a CIT pack with like weird monograms on the floor, I just decided to grab a stained, uh, is this stained? Glazed terracotta. And I placed that along the floor. And for the inside, I decided to uh, light up the area with only candles just to give it more of an eerie, spooky feel. And for the top floor, of course, go ahead and make that your bedroom and just do whatever you like. So basically, on the inside, just do whatever you like. Just give it the feel that you want. But anyways, that is the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing and leave a like down below.